guilty. <laughs> I am actually really seriously on tea. <laughs> Today is Thursday, September 20th. It is 4.05. Um, I got my shot at um, 11... I want to say 11.40, 11.45? Yeah, something like that. 11.35? Something like that. Um, my appointment was set for 11. Um, I would have gotten it right at 11, but, you know, she had to teach me how to do everything. So, um, okay, here's how to play it out. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. Um, so, I woke up a little late, um, because of course I did. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, and I got in the shower real fast. Um, I showered. I didn't do my hair because I went straight to, uh, Cindy to have my hair done and everything. My hair done. To have my hair cut. <laughs> um, so she always washes it there and she, she's fine with it, so, you know, whatever. Um, so I showered, um, threw on my hat, um, my teeth, wash my packer, all that great stuff. Um, went right to Cindy. I was a little late. Oops, sorry, Cindy. Um, and got my hair cut, and it's nice and short now. I would show it to you, but it's just not cooperating because this is what my hair does when it's just cut. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm so giddy. Um, so that took like 20 minutes, and we were out of there by 10:30 ish. Um, then we ran to the scout house, so mom could drop off stuff for a troop meeting tonight. Um, and then we went straight over to the, um, oh, what's it called? Sage Primary Care? Yeah, Sage Primary Care, I think. I think. <laughs> um, so we went right over there and sat in the car for like, Five minutes because I was super giddy <laughs> um, and we walked in the doors at 10 50 ish and um, we signed in I got all signed in and everything checked in and I didn't have any extra paperwork to do because I had already filled that out last week last week last week um the new patient stuff so anyway um <laughs> so we got checked in and we got set down and I waited for what was the longest 10 minutes of my life, um, waiting for um, the nurse, Kelly, to come get me. Um, my new doctor, Dr. Um, Link, Dr. Link, introduced me to Kelly um, because she's going to be the one that's helping me with my shots and all that great stuff um, for until I don't need help anymore, which that'll be. Um, but yeah, um, I was just waiting there and looking through my phone and texting Holly and wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> and I posted on Snapchat. Here, let me pull it up, sorry. Um, I posted on Snapchat. Um... Oh, my phone is so slow. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so this is before we got there, but um, I can't tell if it's right or not. Um, but this is what I posted on Snapchat. Um, one more hour. Um, and somebody asked me, until what? I'm like, I have been posting about this at least for 48 hours. Um, how do you... <laughs> I do not know. And then sitting in the doctor's office um, at Sage Primary or whatever, I posted that one. Um, ah, we're here. <laughs> and, um... Then again, I'm so nervous. Because <laughs> I was so nervous, and that's my uh, prescription bag right there. Um, with my tea and my everything. Um, so yeah, um, by 11-ish, Kelly came to the waiting room, and she called for me. And I heard her, and I went, Ah! This is it! <laughs> okay, here we go! Um, because I've been, I've been ready since 
January when I posted these videos um, that basically said that yes, I've been ready to go on. I would have gone on the next day if I could have at any point in my transition. But at this point right here, right now, I am ready. Um, I posted those videos in um, January. And at the end, I put, um, let's do this. So I've just been posting, let's do this everywhere uh, since then. Um, ah, okay, I'm so off track. So um, just when she called my name, it just, everything was so real. And I was ready, but nervous, and excited, and all the feelings all at once. <laughs> so we, uh, start heading back and she actually asked me she's like um so how are you feeling today and i just went ah <laughs> just ah because uh it's accurate that that is my mood <laughs> and i told her um that's been my mood for the past uh week <laughs> um so she laughed and she got me back in the room and i started opening my bag Again, I was getting jittery and ah, excited, um, and I opened it up and I started taking stuff out, and we were just talking about who knows what. We were just talking. I thought she was going to just do it, just do it on the do it, and then um, in two weeks at my next shot, um, I thought October fourth she going to teach me how to do it. No, she taught me how to do it today, um, which was awesome. <laughs> um, it's a lot of switch the needle and put the needle and sterilize and clean and ah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so she taught me how to um, do it and everything. She had me practice on this little prosthetic thing. I... I have no idea what it was, but it's just like this little round thing about that big. It feels, to be honest, it feels like a packer, but a little harder, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, it's just, it's, it's rubbery, but hard, not like hard rubber, like a ball. Anyway, oh my gosh. Okay, so this little prosthetic thing, she pulled it out. She's like, okay, so I've got some, um... Oh, what is it? It's clear liquid. It's the sterile clear liquid. Um, I have no idea what it's called. Cool. I'm gonna watch this in a couple days or a year, and I'm just going to be yelling what it's called at myself. <laughs> uh, okay, so anyway, this um, liquid stuff, it's water or something. I don't know. It's something. Um, she's like, okay, so I'm gonna have you use some of my extra needles and some of my extra syringes and this little vial stuff, which was literally this big. Um, she's like, I'm gonna have you use this and I'm gonna show you how to do it first and then you're going to practice on this prosthetic thing. And I went, ooh, cool, okay. <laughs> so, um, it's really cool. Um, so first she showed me um, how to um, get everything out um, in the proper order. It was open the syringe first and then open the needle. Um, take the syringe out. Don't touch the end of the syringe because you want to keep everything as sterile as possible because like, this is going to touch your medicine. This is going in your body. So um, she got out the needle and er, the syringe and she got out the needle and she twisted the needle onto the syringe. Um, important to note, you cannot over twist on these things, which is awesome because I am so terrified of doing that <laughs> um, or twisting it too tight that I can't get it off. So anyway, um, and she got that on and she showed me how to properly take off the cap. Um, don't like try to control it and, eh, because a lot of people try to control it, control it and take it off and they'll jerk and they'll jerk back and poke themselves and that don't no. So <laughs> she took off the cap um, and stuck it in the thing, flipped it upside down, and 
it to my dosage, which is 0.25, I think. Low dose for now. Low but high but low. What? I don't know. It's... Dr. Speed said it was a bigger dose, but it's a low dose. I don't know. I, I'm not a doctor. I'm just the one taking the tea. <laughs> so, um, she got it to the dosage and flipped it over and actually, no, she had it upside down, um, which is the best way to do it. You, um, hold the needle or the syringe and you pull it to your dosage a little bit. And then you take it off, the, the vial thing off the um, syringe and needle and stuff. Um, <laughs> but this little sterile thing, this sterile liquid that she had, um, she took it off. And apparently the rubber had uh, gone back together fast enough, the rubber on the cap um, that you poke through. Um, it had uh, healed real fast enough, so it like squirted all over the uh, table. <laughs> it was funny. Um, <laughs> that happened and she just went, yeah, this is why I'm showing you how to do it on these little vial things and not your medicine. And I went, cool. She also said that, um, my testosterone won't do that. It won't come out of the thing because it's, it's smarter than the little vial thing. Anyway, um, where am I? Yeah. Okay, so it's squirted on the table. And then she put the cap back on the needle and she took the needle off because have to use a different needle to draw up than the needle that you use to actually put it in your body. I don't remember why, but that's what you do, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, ah, I'm so jittery and I just want to... So, she put the cap back on and then she took the other needle out, she put the needle on, twisted it, took the other cap off, and she... Um, showed me how to pinch on the uh, prosthetic thing. You gotta pinch your skin a little bit to pinch on the muscle. And she put it all the way deep into the prosthetic. Like, the needle is about this big. And she- that might be exaggerating. I'll show you. <laughs> she put it that deep in the prosthetic and I kind of went white. <laughs> because I think you only like put the tip in and then, ah, boom, there it is. Oh, it goes in your leg. <laughs> she did that and I went, Oh, okay. I can do this. <laughs> I'm not really afraid of needles, but I don't like them, so... Uh, but yeah, so she put it in the prosthetic and she inserted the liquid and I went, why are you doing that? It's now in your prosthetic. How do you get it out of the prosthetic thing? It's not an actual prosthetic, by the way. It's like, it's just a block of skin. I don't know. I don't know. I am using my hands so much right now. <laughs> okay, so stay on track. So she did it and she put everything towards me. She went, You do it. And I went, Okay. <laughs> so, oh, I forgot to mention um, before she um, stuck the needle into the little bottle thing, she cleaned the rubber of the um, bottle. She cleaned the top of the bottle. And before she uh, injected it into the prosthetic thing, she cleaned the prosthetic which is important to note because those are important steps. Don't contaminate. Anyway, so many finger guns. Um, so, she showed me to do it, and I went, okay, here we go, uh, and it wasn't that bad. It was really easy. I remembered all the steps. I mean, I just told you just now, and I'm pretty sure I did it right. <laughs> yeah, take the syringe out, take out the needle, put it in, yay. Anyway, I did it, <laughs> and, uh, I did the thing, and I pushed through and I went sweet let's do it for real and then we did <laughs> so um ah <laughs> um so she got everything ready uh she asked me actually do you want to prep it and I'll give you the dot or do you want me to do it and I went maybe this first time so that I don't mess it up because you just taught me how you do it? Could, could you could you prep it and do it? And she went, yeah, that's totally okay. You just learned how. You'll do it next time. And I went, yes, exactly. Uh, my plan is actually that she does it this time, which she did. Um, and then she teaches me again on the fourth, uh, on my second shot, um, teaches me again, and then maybe lets me do it. Not 
injecting it, maybe she puts the needle in and I push it um, and take it out. And then third shot, I do everything. And then fourth shot, or I do everything at the clinic. And then either fourth shot, I do everything at the clinic. Or fourth shot, I start doing it at home. I don't know yet. We're just playing this by ear by right now. Um, by ear by right now. Well, I English. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, she got everything ready and prepped and everything. Um, and got my everything ready. Um, got my tea into the syringe. She picked everything off the table. I keep saying table. It's like a medical bench thing, which is what we're using as a table. That's obvious. Okay, good job. Um, <laughs> and I hopped up on the table and I was wearing my flip-flops and um, I just looked at the floor and I looked at my flip-flops and I went, I'm going to take these off because they're going to fall off. So I'm just going to take these off. <laughs> I fucked them off a little bit. Um, and I think I started stalling before I got on the table, but at that point I was really stalling. Because in my mind, this is a shot. This is a vaccine. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> um, because that's the I've never had. My, this was my first shot of tea, so I didn't know what to expect. Well, I knew what to expect. Anyway, I didn't know exactly what it was going to feel like. Um, I just knew. I remember how shots felt in my thighs when I was a kid, and in my arms, and my finger. That's just all I have to go off, uh, which is why I was stopping everything. Um, so I, um, I asked mom to start Facebook Live because it's me and I wanted to document it. And a lot of people that I wanted to be there couldn't be there because it was just me and mom. <clears throat> so, um, uh, my voice is changing out of me. No. <laughs> uh, I don't have my water on me, no. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was stalling. Uh, back to me stalling on telling you I was stalling. <laughs> so, mom started the Facebook Live, and Kelly, um, she pinched the, or she cleaned my skin, at my thigh, and um, she pinched it and she said, "Okay, are you ready?" And I actually said, "No, wait, not yet." I meant no wait not yet I said no and that's on the video and I hate that because that's not what I meant yes I'm ready just like wait hold on wait can I have a countdown are you just gonna stick it what's what's going on here Kelly <laughs> so um, she waited a little bit for me and I kind of giggled at my phone a little bit my camera and um, <laughs> I said okay Go ahead and do it. She's like, okay. Ready? Ready. And... Okay. Three, two, one. And she stuck it in my leg, and I kind of braced myself, and went... That didn't hurt at all. <laughs> I was disappointed, because... That I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel the needle go... Okay, I felt the needle go in. But it didn't hurt? I mean, the needle... Going into my leg, it didn't hurt. I don't know. I, Mom says it might have been adrenaline. I say I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's sitting in my leg, and it feels like two minutes have passed, and she starts pushing it in very, very slowly. And I'm like, why is it taking so long? What is this? Is this just my brain? Am I just going a million miles a minute, and this is just slow? What's going on here? And uh, she pushed in a little bit, and she asked me, do you want to push in the rest? And I went, yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, she held the syringe, and she just held it on my thigh, and I pushed the rest into my thigh. And holy jeez, that stuff is thick. Like, when we were practicing with that practice stuff, it was like water. It, water has pretty much zero density. You, you've experienced water, I assume. Um, <laughs> you know how, like, um, oh, what did I compare it to this morning? Um, 
the it's this yellow um cooking oil no corn syrup yeah yeah corn syrup you know how corn syrup is like liquidy and it's a liquid but it's thick that's kind of how it looked and it's kind of how it felt because when i was trying to push it in because like go in please um i just pushed in this liquid that has no density and done and this is like taking five hours to go into my body <laughs> So, um, so it goes in, and she's like, "Okay, is it done?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I it's it's hard to push. I don't know if I'm done yet." <laughs> and she just goes, "Yeah, you're good. If you can't go anymore, you're good." Um, so I pulled it out of my leg, and it was weird because I was expecting blood. I don't know why, but I was. Uh, I'm just watching it, waiting for it to happen, because, like, there's gonna be blood. Oh, no! And there was no blood, because... No. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Um, and, um, uh, I... <laughs> Before she put it, um, put the needle in my leg, um, she got this band-aid out, and she stuck it on her watch. And I looked over to see what she was doing, and I saw the band-aid, and I I looked at the camera and I went, oh, I get Spider-Man. <laughs> so once she pulled it out, she took the bandaid off of her watch, took the other safety off, put it on my leg, and I went, ha, I got Spider-Man on my leg. <laughs> Which is the most ridiculous thing, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I got Spider-Man on my leg, and it's cool, because he's looking at me. It's Here, let me see if I can, this is probably hard. Um, I gonna... don't know, because the video is going so slow. Okay, there it is. So yeah, I got Spooderman on my leg. Woo so yeah. Um, ah! I don't know why I haven't taken it off. It's, um, it's been, let's see, 11, 16, it's been five hours. Um, five, almost exactly five hours. Um, Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I've just been processing and... I, ah! Okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, she put the bandaid on and I just kind of stopped for a second because it was done. I just had my first shot of tea and that still seems so far away, but it doesn't because... I mean, this should have happened in May, or June, honestly, um, but because of the situation with Dr. Speed, um, in his clinic a lot of doctors retired, so he all of a sudden has a million new patients, so here I am, brand new, trying to get in for an appointment, and, um, in May, and trying to get an appointment, and he goes, well, sorry, you have to wait until September, I have a bunch of people, um, that was devastating. Um, but you know, it's how it worked out, and in the end it did work out okay, because I got to start T two years and 17 days after I came out, which is really, really cool. I, my goal was to be on before my 19th birthday, and that didn't happen. Um, but that's okay. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm really okay. I'm really happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me show you my stuff. Um, I'm really, really excited. Um, <laughs> I think she opened this one. Is it this one? I'm gonna look pretty dumb if it wasn't this one, huh? Yep, it's this one. Ah! I know things. Look at how tiny it is. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's just uh, this is actually the first time that I've ever held it because um, Kelly was handling everything and doing everything. So you know, um, but I just want to show you real fast. 
how syrupy it is. Like, look at that. Can I hope you can see that. You know, it's denser than water, which, I mean, of course it is. It's it hormone, it not water. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, my testosterone. That's so cool. Ah! A needle. Um, bag o needle. Um, I'm not gonna show you that because I, I decided against it. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, I'm super pumped. Oop. There. I'm super pumped, and um, I haven't stopped smiling all day. <laughs> um, I'm so happy that um, Kelly allowed me to um, Facebook Live it because now I have that moment forever, which is awesome. <laughs> um, I'm so sentimental. I'm just it's much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I'm really happy. I don't obviously I don't feel anything yet because, like I said. I'm five hours on tea. Um, I mean, I feel energetic. Is that anything? I that just maybe excited. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. This is definitely the right decision for me, and I can say that without a doubt now because I had about three months to really process. Um, like I said, I was ready in January, but I had a while to process. I had a while to really think about how much this meant to me. And because I had to wait three months um, instead of doing my first shot in May or June, I got to see how truly important this was to me and how much it meant to me. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I'm getting mushy and reflective and, oh no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go work on forum stuff because <laughs> next week is tech week and that's my current adventure right now. Um, but yeah. This is my voice, five hours on tea. I'm on tea. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hopefully I'll do another one of these later. Soonish. Yeah. Okay. Bye guys.